Hello and welcome to my channel where we are making a gourmet tasting cake using a box mix. And today we are making a delicious sweet potato cake complete with a sweetened condensed milk icing. So stick around while we make something boxed, but better. In a blender or a food processor, we are going to add a 15 ounce can of sweet potatoes, including the syrup, and blend it until fully pureed. In a large mixing bowl, add one yellow butter cake mix. And then add your pureed sweet potatoes. Next, add three large eggs, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a half teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. The last ingredient is a five ounce can of evaporated milk. Mix this together on a medium to high speed until all of the ingredients are well incorporated. Don't forget to scrape down the edges and bottom of the bowl to make sure everything mixes evenly. Pour your batter into a lightly greased 13 by 9 pan, also known as a quarter sheet pan, and bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. It has been 30 minutes and our cake is done. A little poke test will show that there is no indent, meaning that it is done. Also, if you insert a toothpick and remove it and it comes out clean, you know your cake is done. Now we are going to let it cool. In a large mixing bowl, we are going to add two sticks of unsalted butter. I warmed my butter a little too much, but that's okay because this would be a pour on icing. Next, we are going to whip this butter on high speed for about two minutes. After we have whipped our butter, we are going to add a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Give that a light mix, and then we are going to add one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. Now this icing is also known as a Russian buttercream icing. To make it, you are supposed to add your sweetened condensed milk in small increments and whip it very thoroughly in between each addition to get it as fluffy and full of air as possible. It also needs to be chilled about 10 to 20 minutes halfway through in order to maintain the structural integrity of the icing. If you do this correctly, you can even pipe with this icing, which I did in my practice cake as you can see pictured here. But it's really difficult to work with if you do not have a fast hand or if you have warm hands as your hands will warm it up and it'll start to melt. So, in conclusion, I decided it really wasn't worth all of the hassle and effort, and it was much more easier to just whip it about halfway and then pour the icing onto my cake. I do find having it whipped halfway is beneficial so that the icing is thick enough to not fall through the cracks on the side once you pour it on. After that, you don't even have to worry about smoothing it out with your spatula. The icing will do that on its own as it settles. Gently spread your icing all over the top of your cake and then cover it and let it chill in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes to let your icing fully set before serving it. And there you have it, our delicious sweet potato cake. Thank you for joining me. I had a wonderful time and I hope you did too. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer them. And I will see you next time on Boxed But Better with Jenna. Uh, sorry. No, so oh, sorry. That's what we get for doing this so late. All right. Seven o'clock. It feels like midnight. <laughs> Daylight savings has got me thrown off. Okay.